What's going on there, YouTube? And then there were two. <clears throat> uh, this, I've been planning this video for a couple weeks now, and I finally got my other cab in. Um, if you've been following along, these are 3D printed, and uh, I'll have a link below for the STL file. These were designed by another RC enthusiast, and he is giving out his plans so you can have it printed wherever. And uh, check the comment section below for, or, uh, not the comments, but the description box. And uh, there'll be a link there to his build page that has the STL file. And you can take that file and upload it to wherever you like. And that's what we're going to talk about now. Alright guys, so, the difference here, I had one printed locally and one printed through Shapeways. Just to do a comparison, um... There is a vast price difference. The black one, which I, I couldn't wait, that this one showed up late in the mail, so I started trying to see about smoothing this one out. So I've hit it with some primer, got the top kind of smooth, but there's still some big imperfections sticking out like a sore thumb. But I thought I'd show you here on the back. You can see with the glaze of the primer, and here, all these lines, all this texture. And this was the one I had printed locally. It it's pretty bad. Now these are both done from uh, a flexible nylon. I did the same material. This one only cost me $48 to print. And the white one through Shapeways was $130. And uh, it was really hard to, to do both, but I, I knew there was going to be a difference. I, I was hoping the black one would be better than it is, but that's what we got. The one from Shapeways maybe a little uh, little bit of lines here on the edges a few lines in the roof but I think it's gonna it's gonna come out after primer just completely smooth I think that the thick fillable primer that I've been using it will fix everything right up this guy is gonna need a lot of work um, there's just a lot of imperfections it doesn't print the, as quite a uh, a uh, fine as resolution as Shapeways can. So if you ask me, it's worth the extra money for a better quality print. Um, this one, the guy did some sort of vapor bath on it that kind of smooths the outside of your print. And it did make it smoother, but it was still just way too lumpy. I'm hoping you can see some of this. It's really hard to show <laughs> that being black. Looking back, I would have uh, done a different color, done it in whites, just so, just to make it easier to show up on camera for you guys. And you see that big line down the side is not supposed to be there. This one here, that's a defect in the print. Um, it's going to be a lot of work trying to get that smooth. Um, the Shapeways one is much, much better. Get focus. Got no imperfections you can actually see the lines that are in it for the door um what else is there no that's not even supposed to be there either it's another big defect on the uh print here this line right here that the cowl tried to looks like it tried to come apart from the cab but at least it's on both sides so we can pass that off as how it's supposed to be but the other body doesn't have it at all um these are roughly 29, 30, 31 truck cab, I, I think. Something loosely based off of that. Um, show you the inside here. It'll be easier to show you on this one. It's got a little bit of reinforcement here and there. A little bit of structure added to it. Now, this, this guy designed it for his own frame. So it's got uh, mounting points for a firewall. It's got a couple mounts here in the back. And some slots for the drive line and the chassis rails to stick through. And I think that's going to work pretty well for, for my needs. I'm going to have to do a little bit of trimming, but I think it'll be all right. Um, yeah, that's really it, guys. I just wanted to show you the difference. You get what you pay for. <clears throat> um, if you're looking to do something like this, um, this website that I used for this is a print hub, I think. And it connects you with local 3D printers in your area. I browse through. There's a ton of them in my in the North Dallas area here in North Texas, 
and I found the one that had the most reviews. He had pictures of his equipment. He had the, the most professional looking setup, hoping for the best quality for that price. The, the prices ranged from from that website anywhere from 25 bucks to 300 bucks. So I, it was wildly different. You don't really know what you're gonna get. So I went kind of middle of the road because I had already spent big on the Shapeways print. But uh, yep, you get what you pay for. So remember that when you're trying to order 3D printed stuff. Thank you guys for watching and we'll pick this build up again here in a few days. See what we can make of these. See y'all in the next video.